Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's near and dear to many of our hearts, how to use omega-3 fatty acids to lower your creatinine levels. Now, if you're grappling with kidney disease or know someone who is, you're probably familiar with the constant battle to keep those creatinine levels in check. It's a struggle that can feel overwhelming at times, but fear not because we're about to unveil a powerful weapon in your arsenal. Creatinine levels serve as a key indicator of kidney function, and elevated levels can signal trouble brewing beneath the surface. But here's where things get interesting, omega-3 fatty acids have emerged as a potential game-changer in the fight against rising creatinine levels. So, how exactly can omega-3s come to the rescue? And more importantly, how can you harness their power to turn the tide in your favor? Well, that's precisely what we're here to explore today. We'll break down everything you need to know about omega-3 supplementation, from choosing the right product to understanding the optimal dosage for your needs. But hold on to your hats, because we're not stopping there. We're committed to providing you with the most comprehensive guide to omega-3s for kidney health that you've ever seen. So, if you're ready to take control of your kidney health, buckle up and let's dive in. Alright, let's delve straight in. Here's why I firmly believe in the power of omega-3s for individuals grappling with kidney disease. Now, let's talk about the benefits. Picture this, improved mental health. A decreased risk of depression it's like a beam of sunlight piercing through the clouds. Depression can really throw a wrench into the lives of those dealing with chronic conditions. However, studies have shown that omega-3s can be a game-changer, boosting spirits and alleviating the burden of mental health challenges. Moreover, a meta-analysis published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry in 2019 which examined 31 clinical trials involving over 1,500 participants, found that omega-3 supplementation significantly reduced depressive symptoms compared to a placebo. But hold on, there's more. Omega-3s aren't just mood enhancers, they're also formidable fighters against autoimmune diseases. Think of conditions like type 1 diabetes, lupus, arthritis, and even the formidable IgA nephropathy. IgA nephropathy is particularly challenging, with no cure in sight. However, omega-3s can act as a break, slowing down its relentless progression by quelling inflammation in the kidneys. A study published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases in 2017 explored the effects of omega-3 fatty acids on IgA nephropathy. The findings revealed that omega-3 supplementation reduced proteinuria and slowed the decline in kidney function in patients with IgA nephropathy. And here's the kicker, this inflammation-fighting prowess isn't limited to a specific type of kidney disease. Whether it's triggered by diabetes or another underlying condition, omega-3s have your back. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology in 2015 delved into the effects of omega-3 fatty acids on inflammation in individuals with chronic kidney disease. The results showed that omega-3 supplementation decreased markers of inflammation and hindered the progression of kidney disease. But wait, there's more to this superhero narrative. Omega-3s aren't just defenders of the kidneys they're also guardians of the heart and conquerors of metabolic syndrome. Think lower blood pressure, reduced inflammation, yes, we're back to that, and even improved insulin resistance a boon for individuals grappling with type 2 diabetes. A systematic review and meta-analysis published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2012 scrutinized 70 randomized controlled trials and concluded that omega-3 fatty acids significantly lowered blood pressure. And let's not overlook uremic pruritus the incessant itchiness that can drive one up the wall. Omega-3s? 
They're there to provide relief when it's needed the most. But I must share a crucial truth. Not all sources of omega-3 are created equal. Whether it's fish oil, omega-3 supplements, or animal sources, not all of them are winners. So, choose wisely, my friend, because when it comes to omega-3, quality is paramount. Alright, let's dive into why it's crucial to consider various sources of omega-3 fatty acids. First up, we have fatty fish the holy grail of omega-3s. These include mackerel, herring, sardines, anchovies, and salmon, all packed with those essential fatty acids. Incorporating them into your diet, say, two or three times a week, is your best bet. But here's the catch, in a renal diet, protein intake needs to be limited, and these fish are protein-rich. So, relying solely on diet might not provide all the omega-3s you need. Now, omega-3s can be found in plants too. Chia seeds, flax seed, and walnuts are excellent plant-based sources. But hold on, the omega-3s found in plants aren't quite the same as those in fish. Let me break it down for you. There are three main types of omega-3 fatty acids ALA, EPA, and DHA. ALA, found in plants, isn't as potent since it's not in its active form. EPA fights inflammation, while DHA is crucial for brain health exactly what you need. Now, when it comes to supplements, the options seem endless. Fish oil, krill oil, cod liver oil, halibut liver oil, and algal oil are all on the table. But not all are created equal. Fish oil supplements are the go-to, extensively researched and widely used. But steer clear of supplements containing cod liver oil and halibut liver oil they're packed with vitamin A, which can be toxic for those with kidney disease. Krill oil might seem tempting, but it's pricier and less studied compared to fish oil. Algal oil is a vegan-friendly alternative, rich in brain-boosting DHA. However, most don't contain EPA, so unless you're committed to a vegan or vegetarian diet, stick with fish oil. To sum it up, fish oil supplements reign supreme, while liver oils should be avoided like the plague. Let's break down the essentials when it comes to choosing the right brand of fish oil supplement and determining the correct dosage. First off, when selecting a fish oil supplement, focus on two key factors the EPA and DHA content, and the source of the fish oil. It's a breeze to identify the top-notch brands this way. Check the label to see the EPA and DHA levels in the supplement you're eyeing. Opt for an omega-3 fish oil supplement with high concentrations of EPA and DHA, preferably derived from wild, cold-water fish like sardines and anchovies. Avoid supplements sourced from bottom feeders, scavengers, or farm-raised fish. Now, let's talk dosage a crucial aspect of omega-3 supplementation. Determining the right amount of EPA and DHA can be a tad tricky. While it might seem straightforward, it's actually a bit nuanced. For healthy adults, the recommended minimum daily intake is 250 to 500 mg combined EPA and DHA. This serves as the baseline, ensuring you get your essential omega-3s. Falling short of this quantity can lead to symptoms like fatigue, poor memory, dry skin, heart issues, mood swings, or depression. If you're not meeting this quota through your diet, especially due to protein restrictions in a kidney-friendly diet, starting with this dosage is a wise move. Most brands typically offer one or two pills per day to meet this requirement. Of course, always consult your doctor before starting any supplement regimen. It's generally considered safe for everyone, but your healthcare provider can offer personalized guidance. Now, let's dive into specific dosages for various conditions, based on recent studies. 
for heart disease and high blood pressure, studies suggest a dosage of 1,000 mg of combined EPA and DHA per day. Individuals with high triglycerides may benefit from doses ranging between 2,000 and 4,000 mg per day. There's an intriguing study highlighting the use of higher doses, 4,000 mg of combined EPA and DHA per day in individuals with advanced kidney disease and IgA nephropathy. While the results are promising, exceeding this dosage isn't FDA approved, so close monitoring by your doctor is essential. When starting omega-3 supplementation, it's wise to begin with the lowest effective dosage, especially if you're new to it. Monitor how you feel, as even the minimum dosage can make a significant difference and is the safest option. Remember, higher dosages may lead to more side effects. Speaking of side effects, while omega-3s are generally safe, there are a few things to be mindful of. Mild side effects like upset stomach, heartburn, or diarrhea may occur particularly at higher doses. To minimize these, take the supplements with a full meal. One important consideration is the blood thinning effect of omega-3s, especially at higher doses. If you have a bleeding disorder or take blood thinning medications like aspirin or warfarin, consult your doctor before starting omega-3 supplements. Additionally, if you're on medications for high blood pressure, your doctor should monitor you closely when initiating omega-3 supplementation. While omega-3s can help lower blood pressure, there's a risk of it dropping too low, necessitating adjustments to your medication dosage. Always prioritize open communication with your healthcare provider and heed their guidance throughout your supplementation journey. Now, let's talk about something crucial, the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Omega-6 fatty acids are types of fats found in many oils. They're not exactly the healthiest option, especially considering that the typical Western diet packs about 10 times more omega SIXS than omega-3s. Too much omega-6 can hike up your blood pressure, increase the risk of blood clots leading to heart attacks and strokes, and even cause water retention. So, it's not just about boosting omega-3 intake, it's also about cutting back on omega SIXS, alright? Sources of omega SIXS include safflower oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, soybean oil, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and pumpkin seeds. Many of these oils are commonly used in processed foods and less healthy cooking methods, making them not so great choices. Here's the thing, many people consume excessive amounts of these omega-6 sources and skimp on omega-3s. The trouble is, they compete for the same receptors in your body. So, indulging too much in foods rich in or cooked with these oils can hinder your body's ability to absorb the omega-3s it needs. It's just another reason to steer clear of processed and junk foods whenever possible. All right. Folks, I've shared all the essential info to help you make the most of the powerful home remedy that is omega-3s. But if you still have questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section. I make it a point to respond to as many comments as I can. That's all for today, see you next time, and thank you for tuning in.